Hey guys, it's Chris. From pieces that redefine the history of humanity to amazing finds of historical places, join me as I reveal eight amazing archaeological discoveries. Number eight, body in a tree trunk. In 2015, a body was found in the trunk of the roots of a tree near Colooney in County Skygo, Ireland. The tree itself was 215 years old. And thus, this was an accidental death. And the only reason the body was found was due to a strong wind blowing the tree over and the body being found during the cleanup of the incident. The catch here was that the person technically wasn't stuffed up the tree, but rather the bones got caught up in the roots of the tree as it grew. And that's how it ended up where it was. After archaeologists observed the body, they discovered the young man who was killed and buried here near where the tree would be was over a thousand years old, and thus from the medieval period of history. Marion Dowd of Sligo Leitrim Archaeological Services had this to say on the matter. We can assume that the young man came from a local Gaelic family because the Anglo-Norman invasion didn't occur until 1169, and our radiocarbon date suggests the burial predates this, so it could have been a local conflict or battle, or a personal dispute that resulted in the death. Number 7. A Human Jawbone Now, you might look at this entry and think, a human jawbone? How is that an amazing discovery? Well, it's quite simple. You can't think of it just as a jawbone. You have to think of it as a jawbone with a lot of age attached to it. You see, this jaw is believed to be the oldest human bone found outside of Africa. So why is that important? Most scientists believe that Homo sapiens were born in Africa and then at some point in time migrated out of the continent, which led to Europe and Asia being colonized in their own time. At present, the previous oldest bone found outside of Africa was from 90,000 to 120,000 years ago. However, this jawbone, which was found in a cave in Israel, is believed to be at least 50,000 years older than that. At least! Which, if true, could prove that humanity moved out of Africa much earlier than we previously believed. This in turn could rewrite what we know about the human race and its evolution. What's more, if such a discovery is true and verified, it would also mean that there are bones like this that need to be discovered. And should scientists be lucky enough to find a whole human skeleton from this perceived time period, it could provide even more clues as to how humanity evolved and when they moved out of Africa. And now for an Arthurian legend. But first, if you're new to World List, be sure to subscribe and join us. Number 6. The Sword in the Lake There's an Arthurian legend that states that King Arthur gave his legendary sword Excalibur to the Lady of the Lake in order to keep it safe and fulfill his destiny. In modern times, a young girl actually found a very old sword in a lake. You see, this young girl was on vacation, and young Singa Vanacek went to Vidostern Lake to relax and have fun. When she was having fun in the water, she stepped on something odd. When she pulled it up, it was an oddly shaped piece of metal. So naturally, she took it, and when she looked at it more, she realized it was a sword. I held it up in the air and I said, Daddy, I found a sword. After showing it to her parents, they took it to some experts. They found out that the sword was a thousand years old. And it's also possible that it could be older than that, which would mean that it's older than the Vikings of that era. This in and of itself is relevant, as it would help paint a picture of what was going on in this area at the time period, which could lead to more discoveries depending on what that fact could uncover. Number 5. Bronze Age Wheel The must farm in Cambridgeshire within the country has been affectionately dubbed British Pompeii because of some of the finds there. And not because of a volcano burying a town underneath it, but rather, there are plenty of artifacts found within the grounds of the area quite frequently. For example, in 2016, some archaeologists were going through some roundhouses that they had just dug up, and as a result of this, they found a wheel that was dated back to the Bronze Age of history. While this may not sound important at first, it's important to note that the wheel was pretty complete. It was the most complete Bronze Age wheel ever found in the UK, and still had its central hub on it and it wasn't too badly damaged or eroded despite being made of wood, of a type that's not been identified yet by the way. The wheel was also pretty large, about 3 feet in diameter. Upon further digging, a horse's spine was found near it. This reveal showed that the people who lived here in the Bronze Age actually had some pretty sophisticated means of transportation for the time. Number 4. Baghdad Batteries 
The modern battery is one of the most important technological breakthroughs of modern times. But in ancient days, they may have had their own kind of battery. This is not speculation though, as a site in what was Mesopotamia and now Iraq found a special jar that was believed to be an ancient form of battery. The jars were of terracotta, but the insides contained a copper rod and a spike, as well as asphalt cork at the top. But before it was sealed, the battery was said to be filled with an acidic liquid. Most believe it was either lemon or grape juice. The result was something that could indeed produce an electric charge. Many have gone back and forth as to what the use of such a battery was for back in 250 BC to 250 AD when it was believed they were made. It got so divisive that it actually ended up on the show Mythbusters. They tested whether it could be used for electroplating and found that it could indeed work. And then there was acupuncture, via using electric jolts to ease pain in some modern practices and it did work to an extent. Finally, given the times, they tested whether it would work as a religious experience. All three were found to be plausible, but the catch was that a single battery didn't have enough juice to really do anything. But put enough of them together and you did get results. Whether the Mythbusters or other scientists are right in their belief about the batteries is unclear. But one thing is very clear. These batteries were made for something. Number 3. The Library of Asher Banipal Texts from the ancient world are rare, or worse, they're not in very good condition to learn from. So imagine the joy of archaeologists in 1850 when they found a hidden library in Kuryanchik, Iraq that held within it tablets of stories from long ago. And while that may not sound like much at first, context here is everything. And the context here is that this library of clay tablets once belonged to Asher Banipal, a man who once ruled an ancient kingdom, Assyria, from 668 BC to around 630 BC. So that alone made it a rare find. But also in the find was the fact that there were 30,000 writings within the library. Historical texts, administrative and legal documents, medical treatments, magical manuscripts, and literary works were all inside. In fact, one of the clay tablets told the legendary story of Gilgamesh, which is considered one of the earliest surviving pieces of literature ever. Many of the pieces of this library can now be found in the Museum of Britain, and those who look upon them marvel at the unparalleled importance of these tablets due to how they help show the ways of an ancient kingdom and their love of text. Number 2. Ancient Comics The world today has an interesting connection with comic books, as multiple TV shows and box office films are based on beloved comic book characters. But history has revealed that the idea of comic books actually goes back much farther than you'd expect. An ancient Roman tomb was found in the country of Jordan, and on the tomb's walls are hundreds of illustrations, including ones with speech bubbles, thus making this a literal ancient comic book. As for the content of the comic, while well, this one didn't feature ancient superheroes or anything like that, but it was a look at a day in the life of people in the nearby city of Capitolius. Based on the drawings and the text, it was likely made in the 2nd century AD. The speech bubbles in this ancient comic book were inscriptions that were put above or close to certain characters. They defined the acts they were doing, such as I'm cutting stone or I'm dead in depicting a fight of some kind. What amazed archaeologists the most might just be that the comic itself is remarkably preserved, despite being thousands of years old. Number 1. Tunnel with Paintings a 17th century tunnel has been found near the city of Ecatepec in Mexico in November of 2019. And while that may not sound like an incredible find at first, it was decorated with paintings that are distinctly pre-Hispanic, potentially meaning that this came from certain Native American people who lived in the area before being conquered by the Spanish. The tunnel itself is believed to be a dike or a floodgate that would let water through for the area. As for the paintings that adorned part of the tunnel, they were done by sculpting an image and then painting it with limestone which was one of the preferred methods of the petroglyphs of the era. Some of the paintings that have been documented include a chimali or a war shield, a flint point, and the head of a bird of prey, while the stucco reliefs resemble raindrops. Another spot in the tunnel had a temple being depicted via the petroglyphs. The tunnel is still being researched, but this could lead to more clues about the time period the tunnel was made in and the people who lived there, and why certain structures like the tunnel were created in the first place. Thanks for watching. What did you think about these historical discoveries in archaeology? Did you learn something new about history or life on Earth? 
Which of these discoveries do you think was the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to Worldlist, and I'll see you next time.